Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, is another wig review Wednesday. And today's wig is very special. It's part of my Black History Month series. If you guys don't know, this month for the month of February, I am trying a lot of black owned businesses in the crochet hair department, clothing, probably try some food and some natural hair products that are black owned companies. But today, it's a black owned wig company and the wig company is Glee Made. Now, the owner of this company, is somebody I look up to here on the YouTube space and her name is Dress the Dragoness. If you don't know, she does wig reviews, she does crochet hair reviews, she does a lot of reviews. But she started her own business, which is very inspiring to me when she reached out to me to see if I would like to do a wig review for her. I was like, absolutely. I look up to entrepreneurs. I'm somebody in the crochet hair space who eventually would love to be able to start my own crochet hair line, but I'm always like, I can't do that. I can't do that on top of everything else I do. But the fact that she can on top of everything else she does is very inspiring so today I will be trying this wig I haven't even opened it yet the other side is of course my mailing information and I want to show that but the packaging overall is very cute packaging and let's go ahead and open this up if you're not familiar with my wig review series I come on here with a wig cap on to show you how easy it is to go from the package to the head um, some wigs are not that easy and it's a lot of manipulation so let's just hop right into today's unit when you open it up, it's in another, another bag. Oh, this is cute. This is really cute packaging. It's just telling you share it on Instagram. It's a little thank you as well as thank you for being a part of the Glee Made family. Enjoy your baby hair satin scarf. Oh, and I have a discount code. If you guys buy anything, we love on. 10 is what you use. That's so sweet. So you get a little cute baby hair satin scarf. Oh. Lay my baby hairs down. Um, so today's unit is the Tootsie Cutie, color 1B. The hair type is synthetic. The construction is a lace part. The curl pattern is straight. And the price is $57.50. Looks like I get two hair clips in here. This is cute. You get a little Glee Made pin. Oh, that's so cute. Whenever I start my own business, I want to be as cute as this. I, I know probably won't be, but I want to be as cute as this. So this is how the cap construction is. It has one comb in the back. It also has adjustable straps in the back. It also has two combs in the front right near the parting space. And this is what the parting space looks like. It's a lot you can see through you can see my blue right through it but what I will say before I get into my review of this unit is that even though Jess the Dragon is I look up to her she's a creator in this space my opinion although she sent me this is going to be 100% my own so I'm not gonna beef things up because she's a creator I'm going to tell you the real deal specs on it so I'm going to put it on the tightest that it can go because um, I do have a smaller head size and I'm gonna say this I have actually seen reviews on Glee Made prior so I've seen reviews um, um, when it first came out, when she first launched, before she even contacted me, I was like, wow. And then she contacted me and I was like, girl, you included me. I feel included, girl. Thank you. Uh, but I did see some reviews and a lot of people were saying it was kind of small head friendly, which will work for me. Um, but I know some of you guys out there might be medium head size or, or larger head size. So uh, let me go ahead and put it on just to see from a cat perspective how it is feeling. Um, so the site, and I am on the Glee Made site right now, um, it says that it is straight with bumped ends. Um, it's a little bump. I mean, it almost could go for a pass for bone straight. It's like the faintest of a bump, but I can, I can see it having, it's not that huge bump that you would kind of see in some other units, but, uh, it does say it's straight with bumped ends, uh, cap construction. Like I said, two combs in the front, two adjustable straps, um, the parting space, uh, and lace size is a four inch deep lace part. The color is one B. It only comes in one color, one B. It is light, yakky, high quality synthetic fibers the length is 18 inches which I can agree to it does look about 18 inches I do also agree on that light yakky it's not silky straight let me get up in camera so you can kind of see how the fibers look how the movement of the hair is um, this is kind of the movement you kind of get with kind of a light yakky texture the density of it is very natural I was gonna say actually full it's not that light it's not 
uh, I would say maybe medium to full. I would definitely wouldn't say light. Let me turn around to the back so you can kind of see. I definitely would have put it more full. It's not the lightest and for especially being $57 you don't want a light density unit. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace and then put some foundation. I have been testing out the Kat Von D foundation this week and this one is a little bit lighter than me which will work well for kind of the parting space and I'll go ahead and cut this lace off. As terms of how it feels right now on the tightest it doesn't feel super tight on the tightest which I thought it was before I put this on I was like oh I'm gonna have to adjust the straps out this is gonna be the first time I have to adjust the straps out but it really does have some good wiggle room for me to have a small head and for it to be on the tightest so I definitely would say maybe bigger head friendly but let me go ahead and cut this lace off and then come on with my final thoughts so I've gone ahead, cut that lace, put my uh, foundation cap on D. I'm actually testing out this foundation this upcoming week for a foundation review video. But again, this is what it kind of looks like after that. This is the overall the unit. Let me do kind of a turn around so you guys can kind of see. 18 inches. This is how the hair falls. Again, this is a middle part unit. So all you have is an option of a middle part. So you, again, for this unit, it would have to be somebody who likes a middle part. I know for some people that's not their jam. But for me, it's a definite switch up. What I've noticed is that middle parts accentuate how oval shape my, my face is. I have a defined oval shape. And typically, it makes my face look longer when I have a middle part unit. But it's not bad. I think I can still pull it off. But again, you got to be somebody who likes a middle part unit to rock this unit again four inches of parting space is a lot I feel like especially for how plucked it is I think her being a wig influencer in this game again like I said would be somebody who knows what they like in their units again the bumpage of the the bottom I I, I can kind of see it is not as bumped as I would kind of think but it definitely is bumped right here so it does, definitely has some layerage that goes down eventually into this 18 inches and it has a good little bump to it I'd say in terms of the cap size for me if it's really good it definitely doesn't feel like it's going anywhere a lot of people ask me what do I use to keep my wig secure and in place I don't have a really riding of a wig problem especially when I put it on as tight as it can go like I don't feel like this is going anywhere um, but you can buy a wig grip I do own one of those now and I will pull it out when I need to but I don't feel like I need it on this unit in terms of the density like I said early it feels very full to me it feels medium to full for me I brought my brush out so that I could actually kind of brush through this unit and to see kind of how it was with shedding. With shedding, I haven't had um, kind of an issue with shedding as of now, but I know in the future, it being a straighter unit, I may have some issues with tangling. The thing I've noticed with synthetic hair for me, a straight hair, so no body in the hair, a very straight hair, tangles a lot faster on me. Not a human hair blend, so a human hair synthetic blend, but a purely synthetic hair unit that is fully straight on me gets those tangles in uh, pretty fast fast so I'll be interested to see day one not experiencing any but um, again I will probably be wearing this unit out for the week this is one of my wig weeks and I was debating on which wig to actually wear out but I think this I'm really liking this wig unit to wear out for this week now the one thing I'm probably gonna get a lot of questions on from people is the price point of it now it is $57 and I think for these kind of four inch parting space units I've reviewed some recently I think I've reviewed a model model hair that's fairly an I think that's around 20 something, 30 something dollars. Um, Valentio is kind of another wig that had a very good parting space. I think that wig was like $20. And people are going to say, hey, this is a purely synthetic wig. It's at the $57 price point. It's probably the most expensive synthetic hair unit that you've reviewed on this channel what's the deal Leah like what are you talking about it's very expensive it is it's very expensive but again like I said this is a black owned business and what you will see throughout my series when I present to you guys a lot of the black owned businesses that I will be reviewing this February is the price point is a little bit higher but you got to think about it it's not an established business Glee Maid has not been around for a year places like Free Trust, Outre, Model Model have the relationships with companies that they've built over time to be able to get stuff in bulk if you started a business out there you guys know the price point is heavy when you start out so you have to make your costs a little bit heavier now eventually you'll be able to kind of shift those prices down but me I'm a business major I get how businesses work the overhead being by yourself being a self-made person having to ship things and all that you just have to have the price point a little bit higher now as she grows in her business i'm sure the price point will go down a little bit more i'm sure the variety and the color selection will increase a lot more but again 
somebody starting out, I'm not gonna fault them for their price. I'm going to definitely support. I am the queen of supporting for black business. If you guys will see throughout my series, I love to go up for my black businesses because at the end of the day, people say, well, why we gotta support in our own. And then when somebody turns around and does create a business, we huff and puff about the price point, thinking that it's going to be that same price point forever. No, she'll probably eventually come down once her prices and her overhead comes down a little bit. But I definitely say support, support, support. This is somebody who I've seen come out the gate. She's had a vision. I feel like I've heard her talk about it over a year ago, talk about coming out with her business. She was very secretive about it because you can't let everybody know about your plans. But once she came out about it, I was like, she's been working on all this, got pens, got a whole production going. It makes me feel like I got to get on my game eventually. But you guys be the judge down below. What do you think of this straight unit? Are you feeling it? Is it a Leah LeVon? Yes. Is it a Leah LeVon? No. Overall, what are your thoughts of this unit? Will you check out Glee Made? Will you check out Just the Jackanesses channel? I will link it up above. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel though so you don't miss any of my content out here. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at LeahLevon89 and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. You don't know. Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These body, baby.